got a dancing boy. We got a dancing boy. Hey guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you a very creepy, true story about this neighborhood who kept hearing this creepy nursery rhyme in the early hours of the morning. Like they would be sleeping and they would suddenly hear this creepy nursery rhyme song coming from outside of their window from somewhere near them. I cannot wait to tell you this story because it's so bizarre and it's so true. Before I get started though, I just wanted to announce some schools who have Yana groups for this year. Those schools are Father Patrick Mercury High School, STEM Academy, Salida High School, Alma Brewer Strawn Elementary School, and Richardson Olmsted Elementary School. You guys are amazing. You are superheroes, like I always say. Continue doing such kind, amazing work. And if any of you guys watching would like to start a Yana group in your school, you get a shout out on my channel. You get support from me and my team. Just email our Yana coordinator, yana at jessiev.com and she will let you know how to get started. Also, just another reminder about the awesome new Halloween items we have on our website. We have kitchen cooking sort of items. So we've got skeleton oven mitts, which I love. We've got skeleton tea towels. And like I said before, my favorite is the skeleton apron. This is how it comes. I'll fold it up like this. But when you actually open it up, it's a full skeleton and it actually lights up, which I think is so cool. And it just really gets you in the Halloween spirit. So if you guys would like any of this new stuff, I have linked it down below in the description. All right, guys, so without any further ado, let's talk about our first story. This one is called, It's Raining, It's Pouring. For months, usually around bedtime, the sound of a distant nursery rhyme would drift through a neighborhood in Ipswich, which is a seaside town in England. The words to this song were very familiar because it's one that almost everyone should know. Some parents would sing this song to their kids to get them to sleep at night. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Please comment down below if you've ever heard this rhyme. I feel like most people have. Actually, if you've heard this song slash rhyme before, comment a raindrop. And if you have never, comment the sad face emoji. Let's see which one wins, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the raindrops. But for this little neighborhood, hearing this song was not soothing, it was not nice, and it was not putting anyone to sleep, that is for sure. Sure. The residents of this neighborhood said that hearing this song was the stuff of nightmares. Just imagine getting into bed and being woken up at one in the morning to a familiar song coming from somewhere in the distance and no one understanding why, especially because it was happening every single night. This went on for an entire year. That is awful. Actually, one of the residents of this neighborhood was interviewed by a news station and this is her exact quote. It was absolutely terrifying. I heard it at all times of the night. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m. It was sporadic. Sometimes it would play once. Other times it was over and over. Last week it played for hours. It was just horrible. I feel like this would actually drive people insane. It probably did. Let's briefly talk about the history of this nursery rhyme before I talk about what was actually going on. So this rhyme was written in 1912 and the earliest known audio recording of this being being turned into a song was in 1939 and it was sung by Herbert Halpert. And like a full verse is, It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head and went to bed and couldn't get up in the morning. Come on, we all know this. And this, and the rhyme was often sang by children when they could not go out to play because of the bad weather outside. And what's so disturbing about the meaning of this rhyme is that some people say that this is the interpretation interpretation of an accidental death due to a head injury. It talks about a man getting into bed and hitting his head really, really hard. And when it says he cannot get up in the morning, it means literally because he died from his injury. So let's talk about the culprit of this song coming on in this neighborhood in the middle of the night. After thorough investigations, the culprit was tracked down and they found out that spiders were the cause of this midnight song, which I know probably sounds very, very confusing. Confusing. I'll explain. So police tracked the sound to this nearby industrial park where there was this speaker system at one of the head units that blared this childlike recording of this 
song. It was an alarm system that they had installed to deter trespassers and it was motion activated. So if someone entered this property when they weren't supposed to, this song would come on really loudly and would make them want to run away and not get caught. Why they chose to have the song be this creepy nursery rhyme, no one really knows why. Strange thing to choose. But the alarms were being triggered by spiders scuttling across the cameras. So they were setting it off all night long and they were scaring everyone that lived nearby. And the owner of this property never explained why he chose this song to be this burglar deterrent. But he did turn the volume way down when he found out how much it was disturbing the neighborhood nearby. So in the end, it was nothing sinister or creepy. It was just spiders. But that to me is also extremely weird. So during my research, I found this creepy poem that kind of reminds me of like some sort of acid rain. But it's a really creepy thing about puddles and you'll probably never look at puddles the same after hearing this poem. Here it goes. I went out walking in the rain, but I won't do that ever again. The rain came down in heavy drops. It washed away my shoes and socks. It washed the hair off from my head. It took my ears and I turned red. I watched my eyebrows float away. My nose dropped off the other way. My lips went next and then my teeth. I saw them floating underneath. My feet, but then my feet went too. Oh dear, what could I do? My knees turned muddy, then fell off. I opened up my mouth to cough. My jaw fell down and hit the ground. My arms were soft and runny. My belly button washed away. It really wasn't funny. A puddle formed, which once was me. The sun came out to dry it. And if you don't believe this poem, next time it rains, you try it. So essentially, the puddles that you see are just melted people because the rain is acidic in whatever this world this poem is from. But it's really creepy because looking at my window as I'm filming, it's a very dark, rainy day and uh, there's puddles forming, so. I probably won't go out there today. Anyways, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you want me to do more videos talking about old creepy nursery rhymes, they all have very strange histories and there are a lot of creepy things associated with them. I know I've done a couple before, but if you want me to continue, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget to comment your emoji. Are you a raindrop or are you a sad face? I'm gonna go and look and see which one wins. And yeah, don't forget if you would like any of our Halloween kitchen items, I have linked them down below. Hello, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!